Coyote Works to Adventure Biscuit. Radio check, over. I heard you there, you wanna come back? Yep, I'm copying you loud and clear. What's up guys, Coyote Works here. Heading out on another multi-day overland adventure. And this time, I've got Adventure Biscuit Nick in tow, and he's brought over his brand new Chevy Colorado with his adventure trailer that he's setting up behind him. So. I've got an extra teammate along, which means we can go some more awesome places this time. Get into some country that normally I wouldn't go into when I was by myself, just because I didn't want to risk getting stuck back in there. Wanted to give a quick shout out to joydrive.com. Those guys over there are awesome, and they have been kind enough to contribute to this trip to help make it possible. That's the company where I bought my Jeep from. I bought the Jeep completely online never walked onto a car lot. It was the easiest car buying experience I have. And they have a great selection of off-road capable vehicles, a lot of Tacomas, a lot of Forerunners, and a huge selection of Jeeps. So head on over to joydrive.com if you don't mind. If you happen to interact with them, let them know you heard about them through the Coyote Works channel. Passing one of the oldest schoolhouses in Crook County on the left. Heading south out of Primeville, and I've got a route mapped out for us. Um, we'll camp in a different location every night, and we're just going to see a lot of miles. Today won't be the most hardcore driving. Tomorrow we're going into a stretch of country that no one has been into for se several years, maybe like three or four years. So we'll probably have some trail clearing and some pretty serious four-wheel drive stretches to get through. For comms gear, <clears throat> Nick and I are in communication with these um, Baofeng 5R radios, we're running the MERS channels. We're just running the MERS channels. So we got vehicle to vehicle communication through these little ham radios. And then they also act as emergency radios. Um, it's one more option for us to be able to reach help if we get stuck out here somewhere. So we're heading through cattle country out here this first part of the trip takes us up through the Crooked River Valley and this is ranch country out here. So the only real civilization out here other than Post and the little community of Polina is just scattered ranches all along the way and this is generations and generations of ranch land up here and a culture of cattle farming. Alright well we just stopped to button everything down our tires are now on gravel and uh, we won't see pavement again for another couple of days. So I just ran around, checked the pressure on my tires. I actually aired down a little bit. I run about 32 PSI. I don't really need to air down for the traction. It's more just to take the take some of the harshness of the gravel and everything off of off of my Jeep. Right, it's off into the wild west from here. Let's do it. I'll find a spot up here within the next mile or so and we'll pull over and let the dog run and grab a snack or whatever. Sounds like a game plan. All right, we're just grabbing a quick snack, let the dog run around and we've got a couple more miles out across this flat and then we'll start heading back up into some buttes. All right, well Nick's making me look bad, bringing this gourmet. It's alpaca, jalapeno, and cheddar cheese. Oh my God, this is delicious. It's amazing stuff. I can make a meal out of this. Easily, <clears throat> you can put it on everything. <laughs> right. It's like Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> right, like bacon, <laughs> you can put it on anything. All right, well we just had a snack, rearranged Nick's load, and now we're back on the trail. We've got another couple miles of this, uh, unmaintained kind of dirt mud road and then uh we turn off on some re really narrow little jeep trails all right so a guy was asking me on my last video how i mounted my camera inside my jeep so i thought i'd show you guys my high-end mount see i just set my canon m3 up on top of that beanie right there and right now I've got it like selfie facing or whatever, but sometimes I turn it around and it films the road. So that's my high end mount system is this Polar Tech beanie.
This is some really cool country back in here. So I'm using Backcountry Navigator as I usually always am out here. I also have Gaia GPS going on my phone, but primarily I use Backcountry Navigator on my Samsung Galaxy Tab. So we got about two more miles before the campsite, maybe a little less than two miles, but we're getting in some pretty narrow tracks now, so we're going pretty slow, averaging about five miles per hour or so. How's everything holding together back there, Nick? Magical, my friend. This is some fun stuff. Awesome. We're about one and three quarter miles from our proposed campsite, so, and the road shouldn't be too bad between here and there. I haven't seen anything to concern me yet. So at this point we're in country that we are the first people this year that's been in here. So it's the springtime and no one's been on these roads back here since last summertime and there's a good possibility that I'm the last person that's been on them. May have been somebody wander out here, a rancher during the late season when they were rounding up the last of their cows out here or something like that, but we're on virgin trail for the year now. Just saw two sage rats run across the road. Perfect. So we won't starve. Are they good on pizza? We could try it. Nick's just going to find a semi-level spot, set up his trailer. Sounds pretty good. It does look pretty good. Yeah, you might, you might even let it down an inch or so. So we're just going to do a rough setup on our camp real quick and then we're going to jump in and try out Nick's new Colorado and take it around and explore a little bit. So as most of you know I'm running the Free Spirit Recreation M55 Adventure Series rooftop tent. It's been a great tent for me. I ran it all through the winter and now we're getting into spring. We'll probably have some rain tonight but no fear this thing holds up great. My setup time is between three and five minutes, depending on how long I screw around. So I'm gonna get with it and pop my tent up. So my bedding's already up in here. I'm just gonna toss my clothing bag in. All right, we got camp all set up and now we're gonna take Nick's, uh, so tell us a little bit about this truck. This is a Chevy Colorado ZR2. 2018 it's their answer to the Ford Raptor it has the electronic lockers the DTSV suspension that they did put on here was adapted from Formula One um, basically this truck is built for this uh, out here off-road country out in the woods so I think this will be the first time you've kind of had it off-road yes. without pulling a trailer and so yeah. it'll be nice to see how it rides compared to the Rubicon. We'll see what it does out here. Okay. You know, the first thing Todd said to me, don't scratch a truck. <laughs> With the big shit-eating grin and his little chuckle. Yeah. He should have known better. <laughs> There you go.
Yeah, you're looking good. You should be good. You just got to slide down off it. some trail clearing we're forging our own route here good looking good you're clear on the inside yep yep piece of cake Here's the thing is you can't drive to this thing. So we forged a path all the way up around the bluffs and came down from the top and basically working our own trail the entire way. And so it's so cool to actually be here in the midst of all these buildings and we drove right to it. Check out the blacksmith shop. The hand crank forge. Check that out, the old forge. He's all right. Yeah, I bet these trees were all milled. All the corner joints are all cut. Look like they're all cut with an ax. Yeah. All right. So what was this building? Carriage house. Carriage house that maybe they converted to some kind of a stall or a manger, but I bet this was originally built to be the carriage house. Is that the pre-runner to our dura tracks? That is the precursor to the dura tracks. And you just don't find places with all the old farm implements like this still laying around. It's just amazing that this stuff is just sitting here. Wooden tongue, wooden axles. That's an old piece of farm equipment right there. I'm not sure what this is, but it's another wooden axle. That does not smell good in there. I think there's a couple of dead cows inside the ranch hands quarters. And you guys can't see this on video, but they do not smell nice. Other than the dead cows, this place is almost livable. I'd like to see that lifting. This is a this is where I'll become the zombie apocalypse. The old root cellar back there. That's so cool. Story. You don't think there's any asbestos in any of the, any of this insulation or anything <laughs> in here, do bat. you? Bat? No bird. Oh, good. You can, you can edit the sound, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Auto King motor oil. Then the date on that box is 510 of 1939. This was the view off of their, off of their front porch. So these are the kinds of things without being willing to do a little overlanding, you're just never going to see. You're just no. never going to find places like this. I mean, this is just such a step. Here's the track. This is where we came through the creek at an angle. Okay. So we just want to keep our speed up a little bit. <clears throat> gonna, gonna hit a bump. 
We got all the buttons pushed. Yep, all the buttons are pushed. Okay, here we go. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Piece of cake. All right, in typical Coyote Works and Adventure Biscuit fashion, we now have to navigate our way back through the trail that we blazed down here. Uh, a couple of miles to get back to camp and of course we spent way too much time exploring the homestead so now we're doing it in the dark left 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 another soft spot beautiful i think we're home free the right yep. uh, got a big rock right in front but i think you'd be fine to take it with a tire yep we're good Nice. There's a nice boulder. We can walk over that. All right, we're preparing the epic campfire meal. We've got some. We're braising some short ribs with some bacon, and we have some chopped up uh, peppers and onions in here. We browned it up good, added a little beer to it for some moisture, and the next thing we're gonna add is some, what kind of beans are those? These are ranch style beans. We're gonna add some ranch style beans. Real Western flavor. We'll top it off with a little bit of instant potatoes, and then some cheese to, for the very top of it. So we're making a shepherd's pie. Look at that deliciousness. I had to improvise and bushcraft myself up a chair here. So I whittled up this stump as the back of my chair and I'm using my food box because I made the rookie mistake of the year and ran off without a chair in my rig. My camp chair that I was carrying with me broke on my last trip. And since I'm, I just generally leave everything in my Jeep, I don't really pack and unpack between trips. I totally forgot that I didn't have a chair in there anymore. So <clears throat> this is going to have to be my chair for the night. That's pretty comfortable. You can always figure out something. All right, so there's the masterpiece. Chopped onions, peppers, braised uh, short ribs, can of some kind of kick-ass canned food store brand baked beans <laughs> topped off with some mozzarella cheese. Those are pretty freaking delicious. Actually, did you try a bite? Mm -hmm. It's not bad, huh? It's impressive. Everything's impressive tonight. Mm. All right, guys. Well, we had an awesome dinner. It was just a freaking amazing day today. We forged a route several miles, like four miles or something, down through a canyon to that old homestead. I'm really stoked about that. I've been wanting to find a route that we could drive to that homestead for a couple of years now, so I'm glad we finally did it today. And But now it's getting late, so I'm gonna crash out and get some sleep. Tomorrow we'll wake up in the morning, have some breakfast, and then we got a decent amount of travel time to get into our next area that we're gonna explore. And tomorrow is gonna be the harder day on the trail. So. Hope you guys enjoyed today's adventures, but for now, Coyote Works out. I'll see you guys in the morning.